Alright everyone, so now I have switched over to my Mac um, and I'll just discuss briefly here how we deal with um, using peripheral devices on Mac. So um, it's a little bit easier when it comes to doing these things in Mac because we don't have the same problem that we do on Windows about the conflicting preferences and having to delete that preference file to get back the pressure sensitivity. On Mac, when you want to access the um, drivers, then you can go to your system preferences in the Apple menu. Before we do that, though, let's just make sure that we have the most up-to-date um, drivers on that um, for the tablet that we have. So we can go once again to the Wacom site, or Wacom site, and we can go in here and find the driver for our product. So we can go to Customer Care Product Drivers and select the tablet model, so I've got my Intuos 4 and um, operating system, then I've got Mac and here now I can download the latest driver and I can see that there's one from January so I can just download that one there. And now when I download this one um, I can just double click on it to run it and then I want to double click on the package and then it's just going to determine if I can install it so I can go to continue, continue, agree and I'll just install it on my regular hard drive. You do have to have administrator per permissions to install this so you can type in your admin password and then it's just going to go ahead and install the drivers there and I did not have to in this case um, uninstall the previous driver that I had on here it's just letting me continue with the installation Alright, so now that it's finished the installation of the driver, I can go ahead and close all this and I want to go to my system preferences to see how the driver is configured. So I can go to the Apple menu, then go to system preferences. Now from in here, if I look at the bottom, there is something called Wacom Tablet in my other. And when I go here, you'll notice that I get pretty much the same window that I had when I was looking on the Windows side. Um, this is the driver that controls how I'm using my device and you can see that when you have your driver or when you have your tablet plugged in that tablet will show up on the top and you can select it here and now I can see the different devices that I have so I've I've previously used two types of pens so I can configure each pen to work the way I want it to work like I've got this one set to middle click which is great um, you might also want to specify the um, the um, shortcuts here for the, the keystrokes that you want to use and you can see that I've pretty much set these ones already um, to the different modifier keys that I like to have like I need a dropper there, pan, undo, redo are handy ones to have and if you want to you can also set the um, set the functions here so that this spin wheel does something useful like it looks like I've got it set to zoom when um, when the first light is lit there and I've got it to rotate when the second light is, is, is lit and then I've got the other ones to not do anything and then I can hit the toggle there to switch between them. So um, that can be a useful way of setting things up if you want to be able to zoom and to rotate the canvas with your touch ring. So that's pretty much all that you need to know and then once you've got that done then you can run um, the application that you're interested in running and double check to see that everything's working correctly. So in this case, I'll just open up Harmony, and I'll pop open a scene file that I had open earlier, just to make things a little bit easier. And now that I'm in my scene file here, I can just select um, a drawing, and I can try to draw in there. And we'll notice that I do get my pressure sensitivity. I get the thick and thin on the line. And I can also zoom in with my touch ring, and I can toggle to rotate the canvas which is pretty fun. That's a fun way of doing things. And then I can toggle back to Zoom. So it just, um, you know, it's up to you on how you want to set up the configuration of your driver. We don't usually have the same issues that we do on Mac, on Windows, on Mac, um, which is the uh, conflicting uh, tablet preferences. One thing that you can run into occasionally is if you're using a Cintiq, then you might need to set up your Cintiq as your primary monitor. And if you have a Cintiq connected, then in your display tab in your system preferences you'll be able to sort of drag the the header on the top here over to your Cintiq and that's going to help you to set that as your primary monitor. So good luck everyone and let me know if you have any further questions regarding 
um, installing peripheral devices for use with our technology, um, and then I can answer them. Bye.